Welcome back to Let's Read Judge Dredd, the I had to go take a nap before I finished up this week's episodes edition. Today we're on Oz, part 20, and uh, I don't know if this one has a subtitle or not, I guess we'll find out. Uh, Anyway, let's get into it. Oz, two hours to Super Surf 10. The streets along the route have been cleared, save for men and emergency squads. Vid cams are at every, uh, are in place at every vantage point. Windows and balconies are filled with eager spectators. They're selling window space at a hundred heads, a hundred bucks, a hundred heads a buck. A hundred bucks a head. Come on in. Uh, ice cream and all these uh, programs and uh, water range merchandise available from the miss. Uh, the missus, sorry. Two hours to go, and already they are. They search the skies in anticipation. A hundred bucks, and for what? A few brief moments of spectacle, of nerve-shattering excitement, a memory to cherish for the rest of their lives, worth every dollar and more. All right. Wait, did I turn this on? Okay. Sorry, I I recorded an entire episode yesterday and it wasn't on. I've been a little sick, so I'm a little confused. All right, let's go. The rest of Oz is glued to the vid. For them, this is no no less momentous. An occasion. The man, their, their man in the race. The pride of the nation goes with him. That chopper's good, though. They say, that, though, mean to say, all the way across the big P. Did in the boat, didn't he? Don't worry, old juggle cream him. When this race is uh, when, when this race is over, Judge McKenzie will still be number one, and the whole world will know ours is ain't just a bunch of no good crim, criminal descendants. We're a bunch of winning no good criminal descendants. <laughs> one hour to super surf. He puts himself through a series of testing exercises, warms up his body, ironing out the last few wrinkles. He knows the route by heart, knows all the danger points, has can conquer them in his mind, and yet it has been a long layoff. He knows peak form can take months to attain, and though he will not admit it, even to himself, there is still a nagging tiredness from his arduous journey to Oz. Triple loop, mate. Got the guts? Uh, try me. Uh, uh. Face it, mate. You're, you're over the hill. I hate to see you, you yesterday's heroes brought low. Do us all a favor, eh? Sit this one out. Tell with you, Mackenzie. What up to the jug? I ain't like you to uh, bloop the loop. It's just bored. Oh, it's this bored. Bones are special. Chop fast. Turns tight. What McKenzie uses. I know. It's something to do with the balance. It doesn't feel like my old Stratus 4. Know exactly what you mean, man. Don't make them like, like this anymore. Guess it's just what they just guess it's just what you're used to. Yeah, guess. Trouble is there's no more time to get used to it. And at this level, even the slightest edge could give a surfer a big advantage. Uh the Chopper report to Surf Marshal's office. You Oh You I thought you were under arrest. Just a ruse. Had some other business to attend to. It's over now. And you're here to take me back into custody, eh? On the contrary, I'm prepared to let you race. Get off. Say I'm getting soft in my old age. Say it's for the honor of the city. But there's one condition. When Super Surf 10 is over, 
Win or lose, you hand yourself over to me to serve the rest of your sentence. <coughs> Another 23 years. Just walk back into it. No way, Dredd. If you expect if you expect me to promise that, you can just take me in right now. All right, then. Try it this way. You can race, no promise. But when you cross that line, I'll be waiting. You've made fools of us too often, Shakespeare. This time, you try to escape, I'll have to kill you. Take my chances, huh? You got yourself a deal, man. What makes you think I won't run for it before the finish? Because I know you. You wouldn't be able to live with yourself. Now get out there and do it for Mega City One. Hello, competitors, the starting line, Marshalls to post. Hey, Chup, listen, I've been thinking. I want you to have this. You bored? I can't. I, 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 I'm still doing the wrong accent, so I apologize, guys. That guy, thank you, bored. I can't take this. Wipe out? Sure, you can. It's what you need. It ain't, isn't it? Stratus 4. Yeah, but, but nothing. Listen, I'm only here to make up numbers, man. I don't stand a ch snowball's chance, but you, you're different. You can win it. You're the champ, Chopper. The best. Now get out there and prove it. Unless you want a lunch on Knuckle Burger. Sorry, guys. I just, I can't get my brain to work right. Hell, wipe out. I don't, I don't know what to say. We're all turning into Aussies in this episode. I know. It's like our accents are incompatible. Sorry, mate. I mean, bud, ah, oh, hell, I don't know. Change your boards, eh? Clutch it at straws, mate. Clutch it at flaming straws. Ah, don't say anything. Just stick it to Mackenzie. They line up along the harbor bridge as the last minutes tick away, each wrapped in their own thoughts, each preparing themselves for the supreme test ahead. Countdown, ten... Nine, eight, seven, six. Next, first blood. Okay, well, I hope you'll join us again next time for first blood and uh, see what Rambo has to do with this. But um, all right. Well, we'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching.